Hey guys, welcome back to a new pickup video. Uh, over the past month or so, I've acquired uh, a good deal of titles. So I figured it'd be okay to go ahead and do a new video now rather than waiting for another month or so to pass. And um, I was actually waiting for this one to arrive before I shot this next video. And this came from Zavi in the UK. This is the 4K edition of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We didn't get a very good version of this in the US, nothing super special, there wasn't even a steel book, I don't believe. So I went ahead and checked around and Zavi had a really sweet edition of this. You take the outer cover off, you've got the Wonka Bar box, nice sturdy box. And we got some stuff inside. Glossy pamphlets. And this one's just a, a picture book. I was just uh, detailing some of the making of the film, I'm sure. And then actually, I haven't opened this part up yet. I don't know what this is. So it's a little uh, envelope here with a, oh, cool, replica of the golden ticket. It's like a fold-out poster. Ooh, even double-sided here. I'm just kind of winging this one here. I haven't torn this hole open yet. And some, uh, let's say, reproduction lobby cards. Didn't really get it for all this extra stuff here, but um, I wanted to get uh, something a little more, you know, special than what we got here in the U.S. Um, everyone in the U.K., just so you know, you, you get these really awesome, you know, fat cases like DVDs used to come in over here. We get really thin cases for Blu-rays and 4Ks. Uh, but here's the actual box itself. The film, Blu-ray, and there's a 4K disc. Uh, I did double check this and the um, Blu-ray disc is region free. I popped it in my uh, Xbox One S, which is a 4K player and it's not modded and it played the Blu-ray just fine. And the majority of the special features are on the Blu-ray. So uh, I am not region free. If you are like me, uh, you'll be able to check out all the special features on this Blu-ray. Of course, all 4K discs are region free, which is mainly why I got this because I would have no problem paying, playing back the uh, 4K movie. Uh, but I really wanted to get something a little bit bigger than the uh, US release. And uh, Zavi has this. I think they had a steel book, but that's probably sold out. I don't know the status of this. Um, ran about 60 bucks US and it took about a week to get here from their standard shipping. Came FedEx, perfect condition. So yeah, really, really nice set. Uh, I'm not sure how much of an improvement this will be over the existing Blu-ray that I've got, but uh, figure for its 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary, 50 years, why not go ahead and splurge on it because, you know, we'll probably get a 8K when it comes to, you know, next 10 years or so. Who knows? Uh, Prime Day deal. Got two of them here. This is the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. Standard US Amazon sale. I think this has the theatrical versions yeah, and extended cuts of everything. So there's a bunch of discs in here. These are all the theatricals, it looks like. And then the extended editions. If it's like the old DVDs, there's probably an appendice disc that has a bunch of extra stuff on it. This disc kind of fell out of its holder. And yeah, extras. So if you have a year to waste, you can probably go through all of the movies, all the different versions, all the different extras. Um, this is uh, a little bit of foreshadowing, but yeah, these Peter Jackson movies uh, anymore are just, I mean, ridiculously complete with how much stuff there is on these. Um, admittedly, I'm not a massive fan. It was just a really good deal. Uh, I probably will go back and watch these uh, through one day. Uh, I don't know if, which versions I'll watch. I did watch the uh, old extended edition DVDs back in the day and it took me, you know, three weekends to do it. So um, I don't know if I have that much time in my life anymore, but um, cool set. It was like 20 bucks, 30 bucks on Amazon for their Prime Day sale. So I figured why not? It's a good piece to add to the collection. And it's in 4K, so I totally skipped over Blu-ray and went right to 4K. Another Prime Day deal here, Bram Stoker's Dracula on 4K. Really maybe an underrated movie. Um, Blu-ray and 4K on the inside there. I, I did have a chance to watch this. It looks really, really good. It looks great. Again, like anything else in 4K, it probably looks the best it's ever going to look. Um, the HDR on this was fantastic. The, it's a really dark movie that you know 
blacks were super, super deep. Uh, what color there is was fairly vibrant. A lot of the blood and stuff looked really, really good. Um, of course, Gary Oldman as Dracula in this is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, really, really good movie. I think it's a little underrated. And every time I watch it, I think I grow to enjoy it a little bit more and more each time. Uh, despite, you know, Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder not having maybe the greatest portrayal of uh, British accents in it. But, um, yeah, it's an enjoyable movie. I think people look down on it a little bit too much. I enjoy it. And then the only seal book I acquired this past month is this, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I haven't opened it yet, but it's on Blu-ray with a digital code. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. Total, total classic from the 80s. Uh, if you haven't seen it, again, I don't know what rock you've been living under. Fantastic film. Uh, I always thought it was funny that Cameron's wearing a Gordie Howe jersey, Red Wings. You know, that's where we're from. And uh, it was shot and took place in Chicago. And there's a very bitter rivalry between the Wings and the uh, Blackhawks. So why they had him in a, in a Wings jersey, I'm really not 100% sure. I'm sure it's been talked about before. But I always found it odd that he wouldn't have... Uh, like a Stan Makita jersey on or something. I don't know why they picked how, but uh, so then a place, especially for the time, uh, both teams back then were not very good. So, uh, but yeah, great movie. Um, I kind of blew past this. I had no idea that this came out in, in a steel book and uh, I went on Amazon and got it. It's relatively cheap. So steel books are kind of one of my, you know, the, the big things I collect. So I had to get it. Um, so I went on a little more shopping on Amazon here. This is the Commando uh, Director's Cut on Blu-ray. Again, this is a UK import. I bought it from a seller on Amazon, the US Amazon, but they were based out of the UK. So it took about three weeks to get here. I didn't realize that they were based in the UK. I thought it was a, a local seller or a seller in the US that was just selling imports. But uh, this is, again, region free. I have double checked it, it does work. I haven't watched through it yet. And I don't know what the difference is between the director's cut and uh, whatever standard release or theatrical release there is. So. Uh, I guess you couldn't find a whole lot about this, uh, uh, many differences. I'm guessing there was just some stuff cut for rating. Uh, but it does say it includes include the original theatrical feature and director's cut. So um, I don't know the timing difference of either of these. So, yeah. But Commando, it's a great, you know, Arnold doing what he does back in the day. Some catalog titles here from Dusk Till Dawn on Blu-ray. This is an upgrade over the old Miramax uh, Collector's Edition uh, DVD. Really, really enjoy this movie. Uh, Robert Rodriguez was, you know, very, very good as a director on this. Uh, you know, Quentin Tarantino is, of course, in the movie, but he's not the star. It's not George Clooney's the star of this one. And, uh, you know, it's a crime movie that transitions into a vampire movie halfway through. And uh, it goes from being relatively serious and very ominous in tone to kind of, you know, over-the-top B-movie cheese in the vampire part. But, um, again, one of those, if you've not seen it, I highly recommend you watch it, especially if you're a horror fan. Uh, don't get turned off with, you know, 90s George Clooney being in this. It's, uh, he's great in this movie. Uh, Cheech Marin's in it. He plays about three different roles in it. Fantastic movie. Uh, really, really enjoy it. And um, this is probably before I saw... I probably saw this before I saw Desperado. So this is the movie that really got me into uh, Robert Rodriguez as a director. I print People Under the Stairs, West Scream title, Scream Factory. Uh, really regret not getting this from my local FYE. Back in the day, um, I go in every weekend just looking for stuff, and this is always there for like 20 bucks with a slip cover. And now it's out of print. And of course, if you buy it with a slip, like anything from Screen Factory that's out of print, um, they tend to be really, really relatively expensive. So not a big deal. This was like $11 on Amazon. And again, I think it was um, it's a, it's real. It's not manufactured on demand, um, but it took a while to get here. It was, it was out of stock, and uh, I rechecked it since I got it, and it's gone up a couple of bucks. But um, I think this is out of print. I believe it is. Don't take my word for it. But um, I checked on eBay, and even the standard edition without the slip is selling for quite a bit here and there. So uh, it may be out of print or going that way. But uh, yeah, it does not seem to be as easy to find as it used to be. Haven't seen it in a long time. I, I remember really liking it. Um, but it's a Wes Craven film. Big fan of Wes Craven. And I uh, want to try to see. I'm missing a few of his. I know Vampire in Brooklyn and Shocker are two off the top of my head. I know I don't have. So I figured why not? go and see uh, what other screen factors I could fit in as well. So talking earlier about foreshadowing, this is Peter Jackson's The Frighteners on Blu-ray. And this is kind of a story time too. Um, back in the day, I was a Laserdisc collector in the mid to late 90s and Universal released this film on their signature collection, Laserdisc. 
It was a four disc collection and it had this really, really long, like four hour documentary. Um, but it was like $34 for the whole set. And sets like that, it came in a really big, thick box too, kind of like uh, maybe a little shallower than this because it fit, you know, four big lasers in it. And uh, lasers at that time, you know, if you had a big set that was that expansive would cost 100 bucks or hundreds of dollars. I think even like the Alien set that came out back then uh, was in a similar big box and that was like 200 bucks. So for something like that to come out, especially a brand new release with this massive set to be like $34 was really unheard of at the time. And um, I went on to actually resell that uh, when I was converting over the DVD. I was seeing it, I was funding my DVD conversion with that and I sold it for probably a couple hundred bucks, maybe maybe even three or four hundred. It was going for stupid prices at the time uh, because it was, it was coming out when the Laserdisc was really on its way out. So they only pressed so many and um, I found the listing on a news group, and I'll post it. I'll throw a little picture up here if I can uh, if I can find it again conveniently. And um, I don't remember what I was asking for, but I was advertising my eBay auction at the time, and uh, it sold for a stupid amount. And I funded some of my very first DVD purchases, maybe even my first DVD player, with the sale of this uh, set here on Laserdisc. But um, this has both versions, the director's cut and the theatrical cut. Uh, I do know Peter Jackson never really refers to this as a director's cut because he said the version that came out in theaters was his preferred cut of the film. Um, so rather than saying director's cut, it was always referred to as the extended edition. But now we're calling it the director's cut again, as you can see up here. Um, but this has the same documentary, I believe. Uh, this is the making of The Frighteners, a full-length documentary. Um, so it's, it detailed a lot of stuff on the making of this film because back then... Um, you just see a lot of films like this where there was so much extra stuff on here that was done, or visual effects that were done with like CGI, and they were done very, very, very well. So they documented this whole big thing on the making of this film. And uh, yeah, really good memories about this. Because when it came out uh, on Laser, I got it from a site called Ken Cranes, which is no longer in existence. And um, it was really, really cheap, and it was one of the best sets I ever had. Um, so I regret selling it because it would be really cool to keep it, especially since it's really rare. But I can get basically the same exact thing here that was on four laser discs, eight sides, on one Blu-ray disc, the side of one Blu-ray disc. So we've come a long way in you know 20, 25 years when it comes to technology of these things. Pretty crazy. Uh, last two here, nothing really special. Uh, I wanted to complete the series here, so I got Road Warrior. I think these might be reseals. And then there's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I already took the plastic off with this one because I think they're reseals. I got them from Amazon. They're really cheap. Um, nothing super special about these. Um, I think this is probably my favorite of the entire series. Uh, of course, the continuation of the Mad Max films. And uh, yeah, it was one to complete the collection. I was kind of going on a little, a little bit of a spree on Amazon one day and uh, found a bunch of stuff I wanted to get. And uh, of course, I've got Fury Road and the uh, Scream Factory version of uh, the original Mad Max. So these complete the collection. So some quality titles in here. I think the Willy Wonka set's really, really cool. I'm really happy to have it. Uh, again, it's on Zavi's site. Uh, I think it's still available. I don't know how limited this is, but I do believe the Steelbook is gone. And I uh, kind of wish we would have gotten a better release of that here in the U.S. Um, I know a lot of times Target, Walmart, and Best Buy kind of trade off and having some super duper edition, but we just got a bare bones kind of thing. And uh, it was nice having a big thing, especially for a 50th anniversary. Um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense why we didn't get something a little bit better than what we got over here. But anyway, Zavi had me covered, so um, I was willing to spend a little bit to get that. Um, again, not sure how it differs on 4K from the Blu-ray, but I guess we'll see. So yeah, um, that's all I've got for this month. Uh, I'm going to keep on checking for some deals. Maybe there's some things I get inspired to purchase, uh, complete some more series, who knows, and maybe even do a new update on my movie room because uh, some things have changed in there over the past couple of months as well. So um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.